it's a very interesting question. I think ensuring your business is future-proofed is uh, is very challenging and an ongoing uh, an ongoing task. I think what we've started to do certainly for the foreseeable future is we're building out um, areas of focus around security, virtualization, productivity, um, and storage, as well as mobility. Um, but the, the biggest area to secure our future is probably looking at the area of partnerships. Everything that we're about is um, agility, flexibility, being able to turn things on and off, uh, flex volumes um, to put the customer in control. So uh, for me it's the, uh, the rise of as a service. Our customers wanted services wrapped around the PC, wrapped around the servers, wrapped around the network so that they knew their systems would always be working and always available and always on. Uh, so CC's pretty much became a services centric customer led organisation back in the 90s which means that come 2016 and moving on to 2020 we still feel we're in a great place to be. So at the moment a lot of vendors and resellers are very proud in the way that they find the new technology, what's hot, what's not, what's the next cool piece of software. But the fact of the matter is uh, a lot of uh, resellers are now getting told by their clients what the next best thing is. So the biggest disruption will be the fact that clients will start to tell the channel what they think is good. And it's going to be extremely disruptive because of course we've got relationships with the big vendors, the OEMs, existing marketing budgets um, and lots of other factors that are forcing certain resellers to continue their relationship even though they might not want to. If you think about the customer and the, the, the information, their profile, um, the information around them, that bubble of information around them is growing and I think analytics and understanding the behaviour of our customers, understanding where they buy, how they buy, when they buy, etc. I think that's becoming more and more of a push up through the channel rather than it being a vendor down to consumer. So analytics are going to power that but actually I think customer um, loyalty or customer driving factors are going to be more powerful than they've ever done before and I think as vendors, distributors and resellers learn that uh, they'll start to change their business models but yeah I think the biggest thing right now is that the customer is becoming more powerful than the channel. Personally I believe it's the, uh, the way that services are consumed uh, so I think it's uh, the always on, instantly available, on demand nature um, that, that our lives uh, and, uh, lead and the way that, that we want to see services so I think that's going to have the biggest stress on the channel in terms of how to react to that. It's what's happening to the, the big vendors so they are on a difficult path of moving from a drip feed of a straight product sale clinking straight into their P&Ls, moving to a consumptive model and keeping the actual stock markets happy. That is proving extremely difficult for the likes of HP, Dell, she's now come off the market, Cisco, she's still on the market, and they need to find an address. The reality is the channel is pretty dependent on the channel programs from these guys and how they operate, and they're struggling, which means that the channel is struggling itself to find an answer to a true consumptive model. change. I mean change is inevitable, change is life, change happens but I, I guess you know whether you're a small reseller or a large reseller you know it is inevitable but how you, you interpret change, how you act to change. I mean you think about the, the shift from you know break fix to servicing model large organizations have had to make that change. You've gone from hardware tin orientated companies now moving towards services and eventually cloud. That transition is pretty painful, you know, financially, um, you know, in sense of personnel. Um, so I, I guess really it's understanding a bit about the dialogue and the, the panel debate we had about understanding how people are going through that change. Um, as we go more cloud, we go more internet things, we go more big data, um, you know, how organizations are going to invest in that area. We talked about staff, staffing levels, you know, about how the new generations are coming through and they're looking jobs as a, an experience winner. You know, they want a skill, so they go and work there for six months, they want another skill, they work there for us. You know, it's all change, you know. Is change bad? No, you've just got to move with that change, be fluid and more agile. So I think change is the one that really stuck out for me today. There is still no medium ground where you can find 
a real picture of the market. Um, and I think that uh, that conflict is the one-to-one -one pick in the next couple of years, because that's going to be the key to all of our businesses. I think it would be collaboration. I think it's the need for the channel to work together to deliver real value. And I think that, uh, like anything, we're at our best when we work together.